the forward will join the AJ Bell Stadium side following his drugs ban for cocaine, which happened during his time with Wakefield Trinity in 2017. Walker, who left Rovers for St. Helens at the end of 2016 before ending up at Wakefield, held his hands up to his mistakes in the past, going from the highest level of rugby to the lowest point of his life. I was playing at the highest and most consistent level I've ever competed at four or five years ago and I was loving every minute of it, Walker said. During my time at Hull KR I managed to draw attention from Australia and even spoke to Melbourne Storm, but I decided to see out my contract at Hull. Adam Walker Image, SW Picks, Chris Chester was very supportive of me and that helped massively, of course, I got the move to St. Helens and then eventually Wakefield, both of whom are great Super League clubs. I was also in the Scotland national side on a regular basis, and for that to slip away because of a silly decision whilst at Wakefield was massively disappointing but it has only made me hungrier now to turn things around and strive to get back to where I want to be, now with the Devils, Walker hopes he's turned a corner in time for the 2019 campaign where he'll return to the top flight once more. I've not been perfect in the past. I don't think anyone is. But you need to learn from your mistakes and develop as a person and player afterwards, the 27-year-old added. Former Hull KR centre Thomas Minns learns rugby return date after drugs ban, it's been a tough few years for myself not being able to play the sport I love on a regular basis. I was suffering from some mental health issues at the time which in turn led to me making a big mistake. I don't want to use that as an excuse, I accepted and learned from my punishment. In my time away from the game one feel like I've matured a lot. I honestly feel I've turned the corner, I've regained my love for the sport back and I'm ready for the next chapter. At a club like Salford, I've got the best opportunity to continue to grow as a person by going into the community, talking about the lessons I've learned and promoting rugby league in a positive manner. The sport of rugby league has been very good to me. The support I received from the RFL, in particular Emma Rose Ward, was brilliant and really helped me on my road to recovery. I've now been offered a second chance and it's up to me to make sure I grab it with both hands, follow the Robins. Follow Hell KR Hull Live on Facebook, like our Facebook page to get the latest news in your feed and join in the lively discussions in the comments. Click here to give it a like. Follow us on Twitter, for breaking news and the latest stories, click here to follow Hull KR Hull Live on Twitter.